You see this Wii Remote? It was made back in 2006. Now this modern game engine for some reason doesn't have support for a 20 year old controller. Stupid, am I right? Heck, I don't even know how to connect this thing to my computer. Add batteries to your controller. Open up control panel. Navigate to devices and printers. Tap the red pairing button on your controller, and then press and hold the one and two buttons on the other side of your controller. Don't let go of these no matter what. Click on add a device. Wait for a device labeled Nintendo something something to pop up here. Realize it's not popping up and repeat that process of trying to add a device for about 20 minutes until it magically shows up. That, that one's crucial. If you've done everything correctly, it's going to ask you for a password. But passwords are lame and boring, and also we don't have one, so just click next. Now you can let go of the one and two buttons. Then it's going to install some random driver software on your computer, and after that, boom, it's right there in devices. This means you have successfully connected your Wii Remote to your computer. Congratulations, it's still basically useless. The issue right now is you have nothing on your computer to talk to this Wii Remote. You have to have some sort of external software read what this things doing. Luckily, I found a piece of software called GlovePie, which does just that. Okay, so I've just got some code here that's supposed to turn on the first and third LED on the remote, so that'll let me know if it's connected, and if those turn on, then we're good. So I'm going to run it right now. Yes! Now, we can make the game. 